Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do another video about uh, doing a guest interview using Zoom and then pulling that into OBS, whether you're pulling that in to record in OBS or you're going to be doing a live stream of your interview in real time using OBS, a little bit more challenging. Uh, both can be done. And once again, I'm using the rather strange device, uh, but it does work if you're just trying to play around with this. I've just set up a uh, teddy bear here in front of uh, my laptop and have that have him sitting on the other side of of my home office here um so this is it now before we even uh, get into obs there are a couple of things that you need to do now i have muted the uh, guest slash talent because it would be creating a feedback loop um but uh getting the guest audio into obs is actually pretty straightforward um so that's the one thing now there are a couple of changes you need to make um, in Zoom uh, before you even touch OBS. So the first, you can get these in video settings. Ideally, you would be using two webcams. Now, the reason for this is that um, typically a webcam can't be used in two programs simultaneously. So what I would recommend doing is having a cheap-ish cheap webcam just so the guest can see you. If the guest doesn't need to actually see your webcam feed, uh, they can just hear audio and speak to you. Uh, some guests would be fine with that, others really want video. Um, and keeping your best video capture gear, whether that's a webcam or a camcorder, for OBS. There is no point in recording you via Zoom into OBS. That doesn't really make any sense because you're going to be losing quality in your audio feed. Now, there are two settings in the video settings that I uh, change when I'm using Zoom for this purpose. One of these is see myself as active speaker. Now that is enabled by default. So you can see what this feature in Zoom does is whoever is speaking gets the screen. So because I'm speaking, um, my teddy bear is not speaking, uh, therefore I'm the active speaker. Now that would be a problem because if we want to, we're gonna want to use this window to record in OBS um, and therefore we're gonna want to keep it on the guest. So therefore take that setting off and we're going to lock on to the guest. Uh, second thing is um, we are going to go for, now you can do hide non-video participants if you're not using a webcam to just filter yourself out. Um, you can also go for display participant names. This setting here is another one I uh, would recommend taking off. Now, make sure before you go into OBS to either I'm gonna stop the video or use a separate webcam for the reasons I explained. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drag my zoom over to another screen and I'm going to put that into full screen mode because it's going to make our job of cropping this a bit easier. Now what I'm going to do is set up my OBS for recording this, uh, this interview. So firstly, I'm going to get myself a video capture device uh, is new. I need to do a new one, new one. I'm going to call it web cam. There is myself video format going to be uh, YU12 and I'm just going to drag that out to fill up the canvas and put my overlay above that So now this is let's say host right now I'm going to duplicate this scene in OBS and I'm going to call this host plus guest uh, host guest side by side now I'm not going to show um, Audio setup in this but it's actually quite easy at least in um, Ubuntu Linux I just need to add as a audio output capture uh, what's coming out of zoom so for me, I have that directed towards uh, my default, um, my analog stereo. So therefore I just need to add that as a source. Uh, now I have my microphone as a source, my lav mic, I have zoom as a source, and then I just need to make sure the levels are somewhat okay, but that goes for any audio project. Um, so that's fine. So I'm not gonna show that. And because my teddy bear can't speak, um, I'm not gonna be, it's not, there's not gonna be really much to see there. Um, so that's me set up. Now for the guest side by side, well, first thing I'm gonna to want to do is uh, make my feed smaller. So let's just go to webcam here and uh, let's not do a real side to side. It'll just be kind of in the corner here. And then what you'd want to do, now you can do this one of two ways. Window capture in Linux is uh, kind of buggy, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't, ideally these windows should all be labeled beautifully um, and you can see that's just not the case. I'm not gonna waste this whole video uh, going through. It's just, it, it, it's buggy. So what I'm doing instead for this one, um, if it's being finicky, is I'm gonna just use the screen. So I'm going to go for screen capture 
and I'm going to call it also Zoom Guest. And the screen I'm going to want is going to be this one. So just this is really worth doing this before you hit the record button um, so that you make sure everything's nicely set up and you don't have. Now what you can see right now is I don't want the zoom bar in this uh, recording. So what I'm going to do here is crop all that out. I'm going to crop actually this out too. And I'm going to crop this little tick symbol here that I also don't want in the top. So now I just got my talent in inverted commas. And what you can do is just put him, stretch him out to fill up the canvas. Now, obviously depending on how this is going to look, uh, you may, so, and then I'm just gonna edit my sources. So I'm going to be overlaid a little bit. Let's just say this much, bring myself down here. Now I, I realize this is completely, completely preposterous, but uh, it does demonstrate how I set this up. Now the final configuration, the final scene is uh, gonna be guest only. So for guest only, I'm going to want to hide, whoops, I'm gonna to want to hide my webcam and just go to guest. And that's basically good to go. You can just run the Zoom interview now and toggle through these, uh, through these different scenes. And we're gonna have that real time transition baked into the recording too. So that's me, host guest side by side, and then finally guest only now. Of course, if you wanted to do this uh, more beautifully, uh, we could decorate the screens and we could have little things running along the top and the bottom, but this is basically how I did it. Now, the final thing I did before setting up an interview is put all these on hotkeys. Uh, so firstly, the host is number, let's put that as number pad one. Host guest side by side is two and uh, guest only is three and just apply those and save those. And now what this means is I can hit the record button and I can just quickly uh, toggle between, I'm talking, 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 now I want to go to the guest. We've hit keypad three, want to go back to me, keypad one, and we want to do a side by side between host and guest over to keypad two. So that's it guys, um, how to use Zoom to record in OBS. Um, it does work well, uh, but you need a bit of time to set everything up. I had to do a Zoom interview last week and uh, we were gonna do Zoom, then switch to OBS, and I didn't get all my uh, shortcuts configured in time, but it still worked out fairly okay. Uh, so that's what you do. Uh, for audio, you need to put in the audio capture device. Uh, you need to basically take the Zoom guest window, set up Zoom properly, do a little bit of cropping to get everything out of the guest feed. Then you can have a guest only window and put your webcam and the guest window together for side by side, and if you do want the guest to be able to see you during the interview, then uh, it would probably be a good idea to have two webcams set up. One of those is going to be for Zoom, one of those is gonna be for OBS, and then you can either record in OBS or stream from OBS. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get more videos from me, feel free to uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel.